What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is D Anthony and I want to go over the 20 SMA um, strategy that I like to use on a day in and day out basis when I'm trading the NASDAQ futures. Now again, full disclaimer, transparency, doesn't matter what strategy you're using, they all win, they all lose. It's up to us as a trader to identify when it's time to stop trading the markets, when it's time to sit on our hands, and when it's time to um, you know, put our foot on the gas, right? So a lot of times traders believe that once they understand price action, understand a certain strategy that they can just plug and play each and every single day and your risk to rewards always going to be the same. You're always going to have winning days and you're never going to have any losing trades and so forth and so forth. It's not that simple. You're always going to lose. Okay. Your risk to reward is always probably going to be a little bit different on each and you know every setup unless you have a pure mechanical strategy where you're always risking 10 points and always trying to gain 30 points but again those type of risk to reward methods they do work but they require a lot more discipline they acquire they require a lot more patience and they're very very hard to follow because sometimes you take trades where you get stopped out at 10 points, it drops down 15 points and then runs in your favor another 100 points, right? So not only does it sweep you out of your position, but it turns around and it goes in the direction that you wanted it to go all along. So my stop losses are always dynamic, meaning they change on a trade by trade basis. I'm always targeting somewhere around a one to one or I'm targeting the five minute ATR, and I'll get into that in just a minute. Depending on the, the, the flow and depending on the price action in the day, it's gonna depend on if I'm really looking for a one-to-one -one or I'm just looking to try to make somewhere close to the day's you know five minute ATR at that specific time. Here is a 20 SMA play that closes uh, to the short side here. The first one to the long side here, this is you know going into pre-market. This one really happens, we get the exact time for you. This one happens right at the market open. So that's why I'm gonna start with this one. Um, it happens right at the market open. It is a short position. That's your entry below this line that I drew here. Your stop loss is gonna be above here. Your entry is this candle here. You're looking for a one-to-one. -one. This is a winning trade, okay? It is what it is. What does a one-to-one -one mean? It means that if I'm willing to risk, let me pull up the right cursor here. If I'm willing to risk 29 points, or excuse me, 29 and a half points on this potential trade, I need to make sure I adjust my contracts right, and I'm looking to make 29 points. Now, going back to how I said uh, earlier, if you're not looking for a one-to-one -one because you're a little bit more skeptical of the market or you're just looking for the, you know, the ATR on the five minute time frame, got the ATR down here. The ATR at this point in time was between 13, 14 points. So that means we take the same stop loss, right? We have the same entry, but we're just looking for 13, 14 points on the way down versus the whole 29 points or whatever it is. Okay. It's the only difference, you know, is there a right or wrong way to do it? No. Sometimes I, I use ATR. Sometimes I use one-to-one. -one. Sometimes I get stopped out before I hit my ATR. Sometimes I get stopped out before I hit my one-to-one. -one. Uh, I can't control the market. If I could, I'd be a billionaire. Um, but again, you know, I'm not. So all I can do is manage risk and take the trades that I am comfortable with. And that's about it. Um, so we're just kind of moving along here. We do get a little bit of a long setup. This one entry price would be there. Stop loss would be here. This pays out a one to one winner, winner. This one here gets very, very close. Okay. This one here gets very, very close to a one to one. However, it comes about two points shy. So if you were using an ATR during that specific time, the ATR at this specific time here was only sitting at around 20 points, you would have actually probably gotten very, very close to taking your 20 points. But again, for the sake of the video and for the sake of not everyone is perfect and we're, we're all human, I'm gonna say that you took a loss on this trade here. Okay, I'm just gonna say we took a loss. This is a very subjective trade here. Um, the next trade that sets up is a short position here. Here's your stop. Here's your entry, pays at a one-to-one, -one. there's another winner. If you missed that one, here's another one, that's also a winner. Long position uh, confirms this is a losing trade. This was, however, you can see another short position. This was a winning trade, okay? Here's also another very small trade here, although it does go higher, your, your take profit would have been somewhere in this region here, winner. 
one winner, two winners, three winners, four winners, five winners, six winners, two losers. Now, we would have gained more points on our winners than our total losses combined. Should have ended the day profitable if we took every single trade, okay, between market open and the end of the day, you know, the last hour. Now, again, a lot of us aren't sitting at the charts each and every single day. So maybe you only took the short position. Great, 29 points, someone could definitely call it a day. Maybe you took the first two trades. Great, maybe you're up 30 to 40 points. Winner, winner, end your day. So the way I like to teach and the way I feel is best is if you catch one good trade off the bell, consider wrapping it up. If you take the second trade and it's also a winner, definitely wrap it up. If you take a third trade and you make a little bit more money, definitely wrap it up, okay? Because you're playing with probabilities. The more winners you have, you're getting closer to that loser, okay? So you're getting closer to that losing trade. If you took this trade, it was also a winner, okay? Even though it was a little bit choppy, it was still grinding down at a one-to-one -one winner. This is three winners in a row. If you get one winner, consider hanging it up. If you get two winners, consider hanging it up. If you get three winners in a row, guys, please stop trading on the day. Go do something else. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you guys all tomorrow on the inside.